So my name is Ark Ramsey. Uh, I use they, them pronouns exclusively, and I'm from Barbados. The way I've been thinking about it in the most honest form is like just um, a marathon away from masculinity. Uh, I use the word non-binary, but um, I'm not absolutely comfortable with it. It feels like an import from a place that isn't my place. Um, it feels like it doesn't really capture exactly what I feel all the time. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a sort of slow approach to understanding and making sense of myself. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna go with like a very small moment where um, I purchased a sports bra for myself for the first time. Uh, and holding it, I was like, I don't know if this is going to feel right. Um, and then I put it on and it didn't feel right. But I think that's like a little bit of internalized transphobia. But then I wore it for the whole day and when I took off my clothes later, I forgot I had been wearing it. And when I saw myself, I thought, yeah, that's, that's close. We're getting close. Um, and for me, that's what gender euphoria sort of looks like sometimes. It's these slow little peeling backs um, uh, and stepping through into a place where you're like, oh, there's a sudden moment of just it. I'm 29, um, so I get to benefit from all of the hard work of um, those who have really trailblazed before me, people like Darcy Dare in Barbados, um, Didi, all of the just incredible people who have like really showed up um, to remind our governments and our um, populations that we're here and that we are um, deserving of rights and liberties and just plain old affection. And um, so that being said, I now get to walk in and help support in my own way, but I get to walk into the fruits of their labor. I get to walk into the organizations that they created, that they carved space for. Um, so like now we have um, Equals in Barbados has a ball at the end of every month. And just getting to walk into a ballroom space in Barbados and just getting to be surrounded by all of these like young queers, like young people, like 19, 18, like it's just so gorgeous. It's beautiful. I recently returned to Barbados. Um, I've been studying abroad for a little bit and um, I arrived in the same month um, as Pride last year. And um, we have a small little bar uh, called Mojo, and it's on the coastal road. And my experience with Mojo in the past had been like, you know, go with your friends, you're having like, an okay time, but it's like a very like heterocentric place. Um, but there was a Pride celebration there, and there was like the Pride flag, and then there was the trans flag and it was flying right over the coastal road as these cars zoomed by. And I looked around and I was just surrounded by family, surrounded by people I love, surrounded by friends. And that for me was like a moment of homecoming that I had been craving. Um, and I think about that moment all the time, like whenever I need a moment of like, um, to tap into like a reserve of inner strength, I remind myself that like, this is, I'm not alone. I'm not operating in some silo. Um, these spaces and these people are there and they exist and they're upholding me just as I try and uphold them. I think it does mean um, more education. Uh, I think I opened this by talking about how like the word uh, non-binary doesn't sit perfectly with me. And I, I do think it's our responsibility as like Caribbean people to kind of figure out what kind of language we want to use and how we want to talk about these things. But it does mean we need to talk about them. Um. You matter, I matter. We matter.